If you're just joining us, it's a very special sex turtle edition of the show. <laughs> oh, yeah, my first guest, a terrific actor. His latest film, Field of Lost Shoes, opens September 26th. He's also the executive producer of a show called Celebrity Name Game, which everybody's talking about. It premieres uh, September the 22nd. The whole world's like, this is going to be the greatest uh -oh. show we've ever seen. <laughs> Take a look at this. David Arcade, everybody. David Arcade. Hey, buddy. How are you, pal? I'm great, how are you? Look at that! I get to love you. Oh, I just want a sex turtle in the house. Yeah! Sex it up, man! Put the fins in it now! Put the fins in it! <laughs> yes! <laughs> All right, that's enough. Yeah, that was creepy. Yeah, yeah. It's pretty good. It's, it's good. It's yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, um, congratulations on Celebrity Name Game. <laughs> Thank which, you. Uh, who else is in it with you? Well, we have an incredible host. You're darn right, you <laughs> yes. know. Yeah. Frank Ferguson. That's, it's kind of fun. We've made host. a bunch of them now. It's all You're right. incredible. You couldn't have been a better person to get on. Well, I think I'm a hack, and that's good. You know, <laughs> that's what you want. No, you want, you want a hack. All. Yeah. You're the most, like, free-spirited, like, think on your toes, like, fun. You keep it fun, and you always have nice socks on. Ah, you got to wear nice socks. <laughs> you do. Are you wearing nice socks? Do you deal yes, socks? Yes, you are. You Come on. You deal-making socks. Yeah, you do. Time. Are you making a deal today? I had no, to bought no. a club or something, is that right? No, there's a rumor going on that I'm buying a strip club in <laughs> Los Angeles. <laughs> but we were going to turn it into a burlesque club, but we had a meeting about it, but they're sort of negotiating through TMZ, I think. Uh, <laughs> they keep saying, like, <laughs> they wanted too much money, to be honest, and then they keep dropping the price, but then selling a story, I don't get it. I don't know. I did not buy a strip club. Well, uh, Although, I'm not against it. I'm not against it. I think, I think maybe you should think about it. It would be a nice, uh, a burlesque uh, yeah. club. Yeah, so that means that the people don't take their clothes off. Well, that's pasties. You know, pasty. I, I, you mean like girls that don't have tan? No, no. Uh, no. no. <laughs> oh, yes, I see. Yes, 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 yes. I see. Yeah, yeah. I once did a play called The Rocky Horror Picture Show, and I could twist them. I I've could... done The Rocky Horror Picture Show. I you played did. Brad Majors in oh, The Rocky nice. Horror Picture yeah, Who did you play? I played Frankenfurter. Uh, yes, you did. Yes. yes. <laughs> do a bit of sex turtle during that show. <laughs> yes. There's a how, lot of sex turtles. How long did you do that show for? I just did it at the Tiffany Theater. It was, a, it was just a few years ago. We did it for about four months. Wow. It's an amazing show, isn't it? Yeah. Did you ever watch the Rocky Horror Picture show, like the movie, when you yeah. were, and go and see it yeah, and show the race and all that? I love that. I never did any of that. <laughs> no, no. And then after I was done with the show, I'm like, I never have to see this show again, ever. No, yeah. <laughs> but now I feel better about it, because I, I did it for a year. Oh, wow. That's too long. That's a long time. You know, I've been doing this show for 10 years. No kidding. Yeah. I got a back, David. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, well, we love you. We love yeah, you. Yeah, the yeah, world yeah. loves you. Tell me about the Field of Lost Shoes, the, 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 the movie about lost shoes. Yeah. <laughs> it's actually a Civil War uh, movie. So oh, it takes uh -oh. place in the Civil War. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, uh, and it's is about. Is that a comedy? It's not a comedy. Doesn't sound like no. a comedy, yeah. It's about a group of uh, really brave uh, cadets that are at the v Virginia Military Institute, and they show extreme courage in a battle during the Civil War. And it's all muddy, and they lose their shoes, but they uh. still keep on fighting. And uh, they actually, you know, win that battle because of their bravery. But I play, I'm on the, I'm the side of the North, which is usually the good guy, but I'm... You're a bad guy? ...blowing away all the kids that like you, like, feel for in the movie at that point. So, yeah, I, I don't know. That got weird. <laughs> I'm sorry. It wasn't. Well, you know, it's, it's only a movie. Yeah, it's just thankfully. He doesn't really do that in real life. He's, he, I, he gives shoes away, don't you? I do. He wanders the streets of Los Angeles giving away pumps. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> do you, you already own nightclubs then in LA? I do right? have a nightclub called Bootsy Bellows. And what goes on there? Um, a lot of puppets. A lot puppets? of puppets. Yes, puppets. Crazy. In a puppets. nightclub? Yeah. What kind of nonsense is this I'm hearing? <laughs> we have like the Beatles, we have 
Jimi Hendrix, Bob Marley. So they'll all dance around, and then you take pictures with them. It's that kind of place. <laughs> you, it's, it's sort of like what you do here. <laughs> Wacky. I mean, yes. And, 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 and there's money can be made out of this guy? <laughs> Absolutely. Wow. Yeah, it's a lot of fun, though. Yeah, no, it's all time. right. Do you stay up late every You can't do that. Last night, well, the club was last night, so yeah, it's tough. You stay up late, that because you got the baby yeah, now as well. Yeah, you got a little yeah, baby. Yeah. I have a new baby. Yeah, boy. you got a new yeah, baby, yeah. Four yeah. months old. That's Charlie West, he's a real. Getting any sleep? Sweetheart. Yeah, a uh, uh, little bit. Little yeah, bit. Yeah. But we just moved as well. So it's been a lot of like life changing stuff. Yeah. I got engaged to my but engaged fiance. To, and, well, you have to get engaged to your fiance. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> engaged to your fiance, congratulations. <laughs> Baby can guy moved house, congratulations. Yes. Are all these things connected in some way? <laughs> I just want to put as much pressure on myself at one time as possible. Well, you, and you know, technically, because of the game show, yeah. you, you are my boss. <laughs> now, that's just ridiculous. Well, yeah, but. <laughs> But that's, so that's that... the way it is. You, you're, you're my boss. You can, like, I have to let you win at golf, and no. then you get me mad, and I'm like, Tootsie Fruitsie. Man, yeah. uh, <laughs> take this job and shove it. And... I would like to just play golf with you for that exchange. Yeah. That would be hilarious. Are you, are you, uh, do you play golf? I do play a little golf. You know, I just started it fairly recently. Yeah, I kind of love it. Me too. I thought it was not cool, but it's me that's not cool, I realize. <laughs> Golf is actually pretty cool. Golf's fantastic. Yeah. And w with having the baby, like, you'd have maybe two or three hours, you know, before, you know, while someone was watching the baby, that you could get away, and there's nothing like going out to a golf course yeah. the nature. And do you do you let the caddy watch the baby when you're <laughs> playing golf? <laughs> like, just take the baby around? Because you can wheel them yeah, around. Yeah, they, you actually can get a little wheeler with your, your clubs on there. Yeah, yeah. And maybe be on it. Yeah, yeah be good. fine. <laughs> can you actually swing with the baby kind of, like, stuck on you? On, on the back. On the back. Baby. It's got to be on the back. What about yeah. golfing in Scotland? You ever done that? No. Oh, you'd love it, man. I mean, that's oh, where it was that's, invented. That's right. That's, <laughs> and it's, it's raining. Yes. <laughs> it's near Holland. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Very good. Good times. You ever been to Holland? You've been to Amsterdam. Uh, yes, I think you I'm have. I'm still there in a little, <laughs> little, little <Yeah>. <laughs> Quite a town, that Amsterdam, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. I got into all sorts of nonsense there. <laughs> I feel bad for the regular folks in Amsterdam who are like, what the hell? <laughs> I know. <laughs> all these people around here doing that stuff? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they don't seem to mind, though. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, yeah. poor people. <laughs> <laughs> well, we have to take a commercial break. Okay. Let's do that, then. <laughs> David Arquette. Uh, sadly, David, we're out of time. That's it? Okay. Yeah, yeah, we're out. Well, well we're kind of nice. we are, really. <laughs> it's okay. I don't mind. Yeah, you seem very accommodating. <laughs> I was going to use this time to ask you for a raise. Okay. <laughs> Sir. Well, you know, winter is coming. <laughs> yes. And, uh, you know, it's L.A. Winter is coming. Oh, do you watch Game of Thrones? I do watch Game uh, of Thrones. Winter is coming. It yeah. is. Oh. Do you know who was here last night? Uh, it was uh, uh, Gwendolyn Christie, who plays Brienne of Tarth. Oh, great wow. Yeah, yeah. Character. Lovely, lovely girl. Yeah. In, but, like, on a different scale. Yeah. Like, enormous. Beautiful. <laughs> I was kind of turned on. Absolutely. <laughs> Have you ever had a super tall girlfriend? It's amazing. I've never had that in my life. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm quite tall, so there's not that... Well, I mean, obviously, there's some. I, uh, do you like a tall lady? Of course, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> None of this is getting you into any trouble at all. By the way, I'm always in trouble. Nah, don't Doesn't worry about matter. it. You're Just ask fine. my fiance. Yeah. <laughs> is she here? No, she's not. <laughs> All right, we're out of time. David Arquette, everybody! <laughs>